for the plumber. Let's go right now to Holland, Ohio. There he is himself at a news conference. Let's listen in. You know, I'm not Matt Damon. I'm not any of those guys who, you know, have, you know, droves of women and men that want to be them or so on and so forth. And you're like, yeah, oh God, I'll vote for him because Matt Damon said, I, I, you know, I love his movies, but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have that what kind you, of problem. What do you represent to all the other uh, Joes out there? Uh... Right now, I'm just completely fabricated with this whole thing, and I'm sure if it happened to them, they would be as so. I just hope I'm not making too much of a fool of myself, and 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 it can get some type of message out there as far as you know, uh, really uh, watch actions and uh, and learn for yourself. Don't take other people's opinions. I mean, you know, read it yourself. What is it about you? Do you think that is so? attractive to the two presidential candidates that they would mention your name four times more than they would even mention Iraq. Yeah, I know. That bothered me. Um, to be honest with you, I'm sure Obama didn't want my name mentioned, so it wasn't so much as that, uh, but I'm sure he expected it. Um, like I said, it was just a focal point, um, and if it was helped the debate, then I'm, I'm happy for that, but I wish they would have, you know, I don't know, probably talked about more important issues. I mean, you know, November 4th is coming here. We're going to be voting shortly, and there's a lot of real issues affecting us. Are you suggesting you might be a distraction for them to stop talking or avoid talking about the issues? Um, you know, I don't know. I haven't thought that one through, so I don't have an answer for you on that one. And when you registered with the Natural Law Party, um, what were you thinking then? We've been there, brother. Come on now. Well, it's, it's a registered well, political party. I'm telling you, I don't really remember, and yet you're going on. I mean, really. That's fine. So you don't remember registering? I, I, you know, I, I, I told, I, I told you that, right? You said that you didn't know what they represented, or something. I mean. Okay. Well. None of this is nationalism. What is the big? Uh, what is the biggest issue for you? <laughs> uh, I have lots of issues, uh, you know, personally, and then as far as with the country. Um, biggest issue? I don't know if there's a biggest issue. What your sons are taking. Yes, what do you hope for your son's future? Not to have to pay $10 trillion back. I mean, come on now. I mean, you know, Social Security is a joke. I like to, you know, I, I have parents. I, I don't need another set of parents called the government. You know, let me take my money and invest it how I please. Uh, Social Security, I've never believed in, don't like it. Uh, I hate that it's forced on me. Um, you know, as far as for my son, you know, I want him to live in America that he's proud of. I'm tired of people downing America, uh, saying that we're this bad country. I mean, that upsets me and my friends greatly. Um, you know, we are the greatest country in the world. Stop apologizing for it. I mean, really, it just, I get real mad about that. I'm not sorry for being American. I'm not sorry for, you know, having the things I have. I've worked for them. I'm not sorry that, you know, I wish that uh, our borders were closed and that, that you have to come through in a legal manner. I'm not, I'm not sorry for any of those things. I'm not sorry that we're in Iraq. I mean, you know, my friends in the military that have come back and told me uh, the thanks that they've received for us being there, it doesn't get enough play. I mean, we've liberated another country. I mean, uh, you know, freedom. It's things that every one of you guys take for credit, uh, 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 take for granted. Everything that Americans take for granted. I mean, these guys haven't had it. Now they got it. I mean, that's an incredible thing. I mean, it's almost, you know, I don't know if you guys are Christians or not, but it's like somebody coming to Jesus and becoming saved. These guys have freedom. You know, our guys here that are poverty stricken, they have cell phones. Those old people over there, you know, they, they have one pair of pants and a shirt, you know. So what we've done over there is an incredible, incredible thing. Has it kept us safe? Absolutely. I believe in that 100 uh, percent. WMDs or not, I don't care. You know, you know we, we took the fight to them. We've done a pretty good job there. Uh, could have done better? Yeah, sure. But, you know, it's easy to be an armchair quarterback. You know, in hindsight, they say it's 2020. I call it x-ray vision, you know, so. You know, I, I'm, like I said, proud of our military and, uh, you know, proud of what we've done over there. So that's that's pretty much the main thing there. Do you feel like you're speaking for the little guy in this country? I know I'm speaking for uh, Doug Theory, Greg Clement, uh, you know, a bunch of my friends, uh, Kurt, uh, I mean, just all kinds of people. So I know I'm talking for at least 30 people, and they come from, you know, middle class working people, so, and they have their friends, and, you know, they share the same view, so I'm, I'm talking for some people. I don't want to sit there and say everybody. They're scattered around the country, right? 
Yes, yes. Uh, you know, from LA to Montana to, you know, Kentucky, Cincinnati, I mean, you know, Florida, you know, yeah, I get, you know, being military, you kind of meet, make friends everywhere and then they get shipped off somewhere. So, not to hammer this too much, but, you know, as being local, we're curious what exactly your ties are here. I know we talked about it a little bit, um, as in, you know, where you were born, all that kind of stuff. Uh, just uh, like I said, I was born here and then in Toledo, uh, in Toledo, uh, Toledo Hospital. Uh, no, I'm sorry, just St. Charles. Actually, I only found that out was eight, when I was 18. I, I, I thought I was born south and raised southern, uh, and so and when I found out I was born in Toledo, that kind of took me back for a second. Uh, but uh, you know, then raised down south in Florida. Uh, we called it L.A. Lower Alabama. Sure. You weren't and disappointed when you found out you were from Toledo, were you? This is a local. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, Toledo's great. Uh, you know, actually, I do enjoy it here. Uh, fall's beautiful right now. I love the, uh, there's a lot of things about Toledo I like. So it's, it's, I was just more upset that I found out I was a Yankee, you know. <laughs> Not Toledo, I just found out I was a Yankee, so. <laughs> uh, your family's from here? Yeah, for the most part. But I mean, like, was your dad born here, that kind of My dad's actually from Cincinnati. Okay. So. I'm not sure you get the Bengals from. And that's well, yes, that's where I get the Bengals from. Sure, and um, and then you said you came back six years ago, and who else is still here? Uh, my mom and dad are still here. Um, I have aunts and uncles out in Oak Harbor, Genoa, um, Point Place. You know, so you know, I got a pretty good uh, family here. We're all real close. I mean, you know, we're together just about every other weekend during the summer, having a barbecue somewhere. So, so I mean, obviously there is plenty of national and. You know, you are the name around the country, but right here, you're representing some of our views and our area's views. What do you think, or what would you say to the locals here as to, you know, you being on the national spotlight? Uh, I don't really know that I, you know, as far as... as I, I guess what I'm saying is, as a voice, what would you like to be done right here? Oh, as a voice right here? Um, I'm pretty upset that I just found out Cardi used my tax money to... Uh, um, you know, write a, 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 a letter and uh, what the paper, you know, saying thanks Obama. I mean, that's you know, that's exactly what I'm talking about right now. You know, he's in a leadership position and he thinks he can do anything he wants to do and, and no repercussions. You know, that's taxpayers' money. What he did was illegal. What's his fine? You know, where's he going to go? So that that kind of bothers me. You know, Toledo is a great place and. It can be so much more, but you know, kind of like with uh, politics in Washington, you got the good old boy network here, and um, a lot of people are uh, shut down, and I, I don't want to appreciate that at all. Well, if you say you're going to be here for, you say you'll be here for a long time, you anticipate start or uh, you know take over the business. Would you ever run for office locally? <laughs> Um, you know, it sounds cool, uh, but I really don't know what that entails. Um, I don't know what kind of sacrifices would have to be made. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm bagging on the politicians a little bit, but there are sacrifices they make, and I don't know what all that entails, so I, I don't, you know, I'm sure it's a difficult to degree. What do you think, county commissioner? <laughs> Uh, I have no thoughts on that at all right now. I'm just happy being a plumber. Right. 